This tutorial will cover in SFM texture editing. Right click the model and navigate to add override materials. Then right click and show the model in element viewer. At the bottom, you can access the library of all the textures that are mapped onto the model. Let's apply our first change. Right click, add attribute. So the add attribute feature is a powerful tool that allows you to customize and modify models and their materials in the element viewer. Uh, let's select color and in the box type dollar sign color. Once you press enter, a box will appear where you can select a new color for the model. For good measure, we can add a bounce light that simulates the light rays refracting from the vivid texture we selected. Now, using the float attribute, let's type in dollar sign phongboost. In many cases, commands require capitalized letters. The default phong boost value is zero. By increasing it, we increase the brightness of the surface shine. Once again, selecting float, type dollar sign phong exponent. Phong exponent value is tied to how scattered the surface shine is. The higher the phong exponent value, the more condensed the shine will appear. Values closer to zero are appropriate for things that emit shine. Values further from zero are appropriate for things that only reflect it. Now selecting vector 3, type Fong Fresnel ranges. Um, Fong Fresnel ranges uh, values, when increased, scatter the surface shine along the texture projected onto the model. In simpler terms, increased Fong Fresnel ranges are appropriate for a dress with sequence. Raising Fong Fresnel ranges values above 12 may cause rendering errors if you choose to render below 512 samples. We covered attributes that relate to the surface shine. Now let's cover the cube maps. Cube maps are, in simpler terms, textures that simulate reflections. We can edit the strength of simulated reflections by using Vector3 and typing ENV map tint. Not all materials have got cube maps, so this may not produce any effects unless we edit the texture file, which I will explain later. Contrary to intuition, even large cube maps aren't producing much of any lag. Now using Vector3 again, let's type self ilum fresnel minmax exp. This and the next command are tied to light emitting properties. Unlike the shine attributes we added earlier, Self-illumination produces an effect even with lights disabled. Vector3 with the command self tint enable you to change the red, green and blue percentages in the shine. When the values match, the glow boost will be colorless, but once they are divergent, the dominant RGB value will color the illumination most I hesitated with, with changing the texture itself, because I wanted to show how much can be done without changing the base material. To do that, string along with base texture removes the texture file held in the material file. Once we do that, the infamous purple black checkered texture will appear. I will copy a valve texture file path I created earlier, but if you search VTF in the SFM game folder, you will find thousands of textures that you can open with the free app VTF Edit. Now, by typing string and bump map, we can add a normal map, also known as a bump map, a specific texture type that simulates bumps in the texture. Here are some custom ones made by me, but I will cover the process of creating one later. There are lots more commands and insights. Creating animated textures, assigning ORM properties, creating refracting textures is possible in Source Filmmaker, but even with these few commands I showed earlier, I can create a pretty cinematic golden paint look for this model. If we want to expand the properties of the texture the model is using, first we must select the material name path, then we must go into SFM game folder, and after the folder where the model is from, for me it's user mod. 
we need to type materials, paste the path from earlier, and remove the last item from it along with the slash before it. The texture will be in that folder, it shouldn't be difficult to find. I wrote a bit of code for it, to control all the variables like before. If you copy all the code I selected into your own texture VMT, it will have all the properties from earlier. Make sure not to copy the code beginning with base texture, bump map and env map, because I used custom textures that you don't have on your PC unless you got the model from my Patreon. 